What's up everybody and welcome to Stag Gaming. Today we are checking out Hydraneer. Now I've been playing this game for a little while. Uh, did some of the grinding. Uh, have a save already. Uh, because the beginning is kind of grindy. Now this game is like a satisfactory in that kind of sense. Uh, that you build a factory, do some mining. We're here in this main part where you start here. Um, and I want to show you real quick... Um, the best way to get started if you jump into this game you're not familiar to make money since the update which is the uh, uh, power and logic update that just happened which we're going to get into that here soon so if you like and stuff uh, please hit that like button subscribe maybe leave a comment uh, let me know if you enjoy the game but uh, let's go ahead and get into it so uh, this is that little first little spot that uh, first little spot that you start uh, this was something that I did originally when you first start digging. Now, when you start, uh, I think, on one of these poles, is like your shovel and then you, all that nonsense. But when you go to make enough money with your shovel and literally shoveling dirt into a pan and uh, rinsing it and, with water and making money, when you get enough money, you want to come in here, you want to stick your money in here, and you want to buy a fishing pole okay now the reason for that is this is quick this is early game quick money uh, make your 52 credits get your fishing pole okay you should already have this bucket here ignore all this other stuff I'll get to that uh, you should have this already right then here's a fishing pole I set my bucket here, okay, when I first started, and I would get up here, and I'd make sure my little drop arrow there, my little drop circle, the green one, was there, and I would literally just, just toss right here, and after so long, you just literally do this, right? Now, you'll notice as you throw this in here, that it's I figured it's around the same time. If you have an auto clicker, uh, you can literally set this up to click at the right amount of time to catch fish and just fill buckets up. You can just sit buckets here and just fill buckets up. And you can sell these dead fish. Right? And you can just fill up a bucket, you know, take your bucket, you know, full of fish at the time, so we don't get stuck in my hole there. You would run it all the way up here and you can sell these fish. And this is early game. Like if you want to make money real quick, this is a very early game. Uh, and then you would just drop it off here and sell it, right? And get your money, which, you know, really don't give a shit about right meow. This is a little, little, oh man. This is a small change now where I'm at. Okay. There's my old shovel. So, uh, anyway. You do that for a while, and then eventually you can start setting up... Uh, actual, like, mining systems and conveyor belts and stuff. And we'll get into that here. As you can tell, uh, I've been at, at work here making some moolah. All right. So let me run over here and show you my like first system, right, and how I got over here. Now before I had all this piping and all the conveyors, I literally was digging a hole, taking dirt, putting it, you know, in a bucket. Uh, where are my buckets? Putting it in a bucket, dumping it into a pan, you know, these are the pans, and, you know, then taking the brush and doing that way, right? And it was boring. And it's a long time to do that, so I started doing the fishing thing, started to make a little bit more money, and I started to mess with all the conveyors and the mining stuff, because this is my first time really playing through this, so I really didn't know. Um, so what I did here, like, you know, I would literally was taking shovels full, throwing on the conveyor belts, letting it run up to the top here, you know, go through the system, and then be sorted and I haven't been over here in a while there's probably uh, well since the last run if I'm get out of this stuck in position 
But yeah, I would run stuff in, you know, the stuff like this. This compresses your diamond stuff. This is all on its own system. So here's the brush that I would have used for the pan. But anyway, had it sort out, and I literally had it drop into the stuff like this. This was my first test um, to understand it before I pro uh, purchased a piece of land, right? And then I moved on after doing the fish. Oh, oh, before I forget, before I forget here. Uh, I was fishing, right, for a long time and didn't realize there are fishing baskets, right? That, well, that was weird. There's, like, fishing cages that you can catch fish in, too. So I didn't try that, but that might actually be better to set a couple of those out and catch some fish as well. So we're going to jump back in here. We're going to go take you to where I am now, where I'm working now. Um, this is basically Forgotten Works right now. I don't know. We'll probably do some with it. I'm not too sure. I'm not worried about it. So we're going to take you to where I'm at now on uh, the closest mining zone on the map to the biggest town where you'll get familiar with where you buy all your new logic and electrical stuff. Uh, we're going to take a shortcut here, so bear with me. Hopefully we don't flip and have to reset. We don't need no bridges. But yeah, like I said, uh, the best thing to do is use the fishing pole at first, make enough money to, you know, start setting up a system. And I'll show you the system that I have now that works out well. Uh, and I'm really just now starting to touch into the logic thing. Um, the electrical I'm oh, familiar with, the logic system is up on that part there. But I've got a, a little bit of it. And uh, a little bit of it figured out. Uh, another thing we're going to probably purchase is uh, that big rig over there just to mess around with all right so this is the system i'm working with now and i'll run you through it i'm taking my time over this so this vehicle don't go nuts it does still be a little glitchy this is still a newish game all right and i'll run you through how i uh, have this set up here so, now I don't know why my cursor keeps showing up. I guess my uh, screen recorder is not all the way to the edge. But anyway. <laughs> um, so this is the system I have set up here. Basically, you see I have the dividers, except that they're divided now, right? They have the conveyor belts in between them. Uh, crafting table, so on. These are the uh, self-miners which shoot dirt onto the conveyor belt, which take it up there to the processor. Um, now, I want to show this. Um, how I have my water and my electric and my uh, logic system set up here. So, originally, <laughs> I had this is your simple pump right comes up through here this was my original system okay and it's got all the filters here and all that we'll get, which goes into uh, the pressure thing which you put your glowy emerald stuff in and that goes into the conveyor belts and the auto extractor things comes up into the harvester here, which are two different systems. There's one over here. There's one over here. Um, okay. That's one line. That was the main line I was using at first. And then I got the electrical. Okay. Now, the electric pump is here, right? And then I have it run up with the same kind of idea, but I have it teed off here. I'll get to that why. Now, on the main system here, because 
instead of using just one line uh, with electric, if, say, these run out of power because they are powered off that or something happens, one of these break down the filters or something, I want to still be able to run. As long as that these filters are good, this should still run, right? So what I did is I left this one on. I put a T here. This runs straight over to both uh, power, uh, whatever you call these things. Um, they are both teed off, right? And they go down into them, okay? And then they come across to a shutoff, which goes in the main system. Now, I would never have to open this if everything's running good, right? This constantly feeds into the energy source, which constantly gives power as long as I have it on, which I have a shutoff right here, which is on the logistics system here, which is on a switch, which also, which is this switch right here, which runs up over to a T, comes down into another spot where it opens up. So let's say I want to run this system over here with power and more energy and run power through the whole system. Then what I would do is I would flip this and it would open this valve and open this valve. And when that happens, the water goes through into the energy system, powers them, allows this to flow through, allows water to come through to this point where it's shut off because we don't need this pump, this water, to come through. Because once this water from this pump goes over and in, it will literally power this pump, the power pump. See, the power line here is right here, it's teed off, goes down into the power system here. So basically what's happening is the pump without a pressure, which doesn't require water, is putting water into the electrical system always. It will never break down. No matter what, there's always water pushing into this, so I can always generate energy, which can eventually be pushed to the system. And if I need to do maintenance or move things, I can switch between this one and the power system, if that makes any sense. Now, I have this other logic switch here to open this valve here, which allows the flow into the whole main system besides part conveyors, right? Which this one's the conveyor one, which I usually have running all the time. So this one here, which is on the main water source, which doesn't have any filters, which doesn't have any pumps, so it will always run water through. It will come through here, and as long as this is open, will run down, will come down to this T, will go down this way, all the way over to our compressor for uh, emeralds, this one over there, that compressor, that emerald. It will also come up and come over, and then it will cross over here, to this belt and these belts. These belts will always run after it is processed. So the dirt will come up, it will drop in, it will come down onto the belts. These belts will always run. So let's say the system for some reason, you know, we have to repair something. Uh, these all down there will shut off and these belts will shut off. But everything past this will keep running. So everything processed will keep running into the uh, smelters and so on. Now, this is a pretty handy system. I think I've got eight and eight, right? And they're all running the same thing. Uh, I'm on the process of switching over my smelters to the more refined one. And I'm going to run that electric over and then down and through over here to those, and then it's gonna come down all the way across and over. Now this side, uh, um, I don't know if you noticed, but one side's opposite than the other. Like this side's got the smelters, this side doesn't. This side has a smelter. Oh, let me get over here. This side has a smelter. Well, because these sorters, they only go one way. I would love to have them face the right way, but or the same way, but it just didn't work. Um, I also have my smelters kind of in this 
uh, drop here because every once in a while you'll have a backup. Like if you're, com that's why I run these conveyor belts all the time because if these conveyor belts stop with items on them, sometimes they'll get stuck and they'll back up and literally you will have a pile of resources. And it's a lot easier to clean up in here. But if you watch it, then you won't have that problem. Just make sure if you see something stuck, you pull it off before it gets a buildup. Because if it gets a buildup, it is a nightmare. Um, and I'm, what I mean by that is <laughs> partly why I have some of these um, sheeting, if I can get up there here without uh, falling. I have some of these uh, tin sheeting because if you go to get a pile up, the game has a tendency to fling things into the air, like dirt and resources. And I like having this tin sheeting on, on top of my uh, structures here. Because the dirt, when it goes flying, when I turn this on, for example, this dirt might go flying. And I don't want it to land on my conveyors that are supposed to be keeping everything sorted. So uh, this is all temporary at the moment. Um, I'm eventually going to have a structure and so on uh, once I get everything hooked up and all that and figure out how I'm going to run the electrical over and the logistics for the uh, this thing here the logic smelter because um, you have to have electric and you have to have the uh, logistic cables to smelt so yeah, but anyway, I know this is kind of a rough, and I'll kind of, like, go through this again. Um, but like I said, this seems to work really, really well. Now, I honestly don't even know if I have everything repaired. Uh, where is my magnifying glass so I can check? And I will show you how this runs. 44. Yeah, we need to repair. Okay. Here are these. These are the filters for the... Uh, power plant, as you can call it. There's another one here. Okay. That should be most of them, I believe. I think they're at least have some percentage. All right. So let's say I want to turn uh, my system on um, running the power. Okay. I have it set up to here, right? So I just flip this switch. I need to flip this one. Okay, that will allow the water to flow in and over to the power. Which you can see everything's lit up here. See? So let me know it says power. Now I gotta let it go to the I have to unlock the next pipe here by using this one. Which is opens it up and turns everything on. I'm gonna have some big clops I'm gonna have to move. That's always. Um now, ignore all that stuff. It's basically telling me that I'm, uh, it, it, for one, this one's telling me, oh, this is closed. Water can't get through. Well, if I open this, this will cause a backflow, and this pump will not work, right? So this shut off because I don't want this water, this pump, to push into this pump. I want the, all right? So, and also that allows me to, like I said, once, let's say one of these filters or, or, something here you run out of power uh gems or whatever you can literally keep running because this pump here is continuously flowing water into the system as long as one of these filters are not broken okay so it will keep running and keep running and these this sound you hear here will be in your be in your nightmares or your dreams there's something satisfying about it. Now, like I said, I always are ch I'm always checking. I'm always checking. There's a little bit of audio glitch. Because I want to make sure there's nothing getting stuck. Because if something gets stuck, it has a tendency to build up. And I have one side. I don't know if you noticed this. I have one side here. I'll show you here. That I have the conveyor belts high up and dropping them down. And then on the other side, I have the conveyor belts... Just dropping them straight. Oop! I forgot I made a path here. Just dropping them, dropping them straight in, right? And the only reason I did difference is because every once in a while, when I first started, I would have something kind of like hang up on the edge here between the conveyor belt and this. And I just wanted to see if that was like a random thing or if it was something that we could prevent. And it seems to be random, so I don't think it matters 
how you do it, but I am going to have to raise these up anyway, I feel like, when I put the new logic woods in, because I have a different way I want to do this, so, but, um, yeah, and then I also have it out here, like, where you can continuously extend it, you can kind of see how everything runs, these are all on the same system, they go back and forth here, teed off, and there's, I think there's eight on each side, um, they run up here, I've been messing with the tin, as you can see, to see if it helps, I mean, just kind of playing around. Got a little bit clogged up here, but nothing major. Nothing to be too concerned about. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's pretty nice. Like, uh, this will run for, I think I have run for 30 minutes before anything broke down. Where it com completely shut off. And I mean, like, besides the conveyor belts, you know, they'll keep running. Because it's just water that has to power them. There's no filters or anything needed really for that so but uh, there's just something satisfying about all this yeah but I think uh, think I've got all the uh, saves here this right here as you can see the logic this is kind of this ain't attached to nothing um, besides the switch here I'm playing around here because I gotta figure out how I wanna I think I'm gonna run the electric over and then come down and across and have the electric come in this side here to the new logistic smelter and then have the logistics come out this side and then the logistics go into this smelter and then the power come out this side and the power go into this side and the logistics come out this side and so on and so forth is my plan but i'm not too sure how that's going to work because uh, the logistics stuff is all new. Um, and I definitely need to clean up my mess. Um, and I also, after setting up this power system, I don't ever use batteries. Like, ever. Like, um, this seems to work really well. Now, whether they intended it to work like this, I don't know. Um, but... I'm not a plumber, but I got this idea from, um, I don't know if you've ever seen like a pump station, but they have like a, a pump come in and they're all running like this way, you know, parallel, I guess you'd say. Is that parallel? Perpendicular? Parallel? I don't know. They're running like this. Um, I also have these here. I was going to like add like a logistics here to shut these off, but I don't really need to shut the, the power off. All, all I have to do is shut the water off. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, you shut the water off to the power plant, and then the power's off. So, why do I need to switch on the power? So, those are just extras for now. Until I figure out what to do. But, yeah, I haven't had to use the batteries. Um, at all, really. But, uh, but the next step is to switch over everything to a logistics. And I don't know if, uh, you know, the logistics is a new update we'll let everything run here i hope uh nothing goes too awry but you know we've got backups for that we'll run over to the shop here uh, look at all the logistics stuff um, i also got all the blueprints unlocked you know um but i'm not too sure how to get the big crystal like i got all the blueprints unlocked and thought that would unlock the like the big power crystal which i'll show you what i'm talking about but uh, it didn't at first. Maybe it did now, but I'm not too sure how to get that. So yeah, we'll run over that real quick. All right, so down here, um, by right across from the new logistics stuff, um, this craft table. But anyway, down here is like all the blueprints and stuff. Well, I've got all these unlocked, but I don't know how to get in the ah. Yeah, I'm not too sure how to get in here. Do I like to convert? I don't know. I thought maybe unlocking all this would do it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you know this. It took me a minute to figure this out. Maybe I'm a dummy. But, uh, uh, craft a sword to unlock this. The sword has to be so big, right? 12, 16. It has to be that big in weight. And then you have to do the candle in that way, and so so forth. I thought it was literally the uh, ignite bars. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, 
But that's uh, why I did what I did now, so you wouldn't have to go through that pain of my ignorancy trying to figure out what the heck to do. Alright, but anyway, the logistics over here, this is the stuff that I have to figure out yet, and uh, it's going to take some learning. But uh, there's all this good stuff. There's even the counter. Like, I don't even know how that well that works, but that would be interesting to know how much stuff actually goes through. You have all your cables and stuff, you now buttons and your sorters and your auto fixers and all that nonsense. Um, like I said, this was like the first playthrough that I've done. And uh, I feel like I've done pretty well. Uh, I've hit the 300k mark on cash twice. I've spent about it, half of that twice. <laughs> but I've got at least got a system now. Wow, I totally lost my uh, thing now. Got a system now where I can make a lot, a lot of money pretty quick. So I feel like we're in a good position to kind of play around a little bit, which I have been, but like to the, the extent where like we can make the money back real quick if we lose it. And another thing I want to do um, also and play around with, um, maybe there's like some like secret thing you have to find underground, but there gives me a reason to buy this, um, this uh, digger over here. Which I think we might just purchase. If I can pick up the cash. Um, where the hell? Oh, I'm on the other side of the... It's weird. I can all on the left side. But yeah, like this thing. I mean, it's only... It's only that, right? I mean, come on. Might as well, right? Yeah. Let's do some digging. Because I have, honestly have no ideas how this is going to work. Like, I guess it collects the dirt, too, and then you can just dump it on a conveyor belt. Hold L and B to move arms. R and B to dig dirt. L and B. Um, we're going to try this. But uh, I don't know how well this is going to go. Right mouse button. But. Oh, wow. That's weird. Okay, so. It, it is the mouse buttons. I was thinking it was something else. I was like, like literally thinking it was the keyboard. Like, we're going to get stuck so fast. Oh my god. We're already stuck, aren't we? This seems like a fucking nightmare. Yeah, we're already stuck. Yeah, this is something they got to work on. Because, uh... That got stuck real quick. They need some more ground clearance. I mean, I guess it's cool. I mean, if you want to clear some ground for the, just the fun of it. I mean, fuck it. Let's do it. We're going down in a hole. Probably lag this shit out. Yeah. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, totally. Yeah, they need more ground clearance on this thing. You could do it! <laughs> it's just, yeah, there need to be bigger wheels. And more ground clearance, because this is not not working. It's just it's just caught. That's something they gotta work on. Alright, well um <laughs> so funny. It empties off the side there. And then just dump it, right? But I mean do we really need this thing, considering that we have auto extractors now? Like, this is just kind of a fun, cool object. But they need to make these wheels, like, twice the size. At least, like, the size of the roller. Because 
it doesn't have near the ground clearance that it needs. Let's see if we've got any major backups. We shouldn't. I think I hopefully got all that figured out. Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. But yeah, like I said, folks, if uh, you have any questions or you want to comment or any games you would recommend or uh, like or subscribe or anything, uh, please do. Uh, uh, we probably will jump back into this um, as it updates. Um, like I said, if you guys need like more of a tutorial on maybe how to get things running, um, if you didn't see it all here, I hope I try to cover it all. It's quite a bit, I know. Um, this looks like a clusterfuck uh, at the moment, and I'm going to come back once I figure out the logics and the power to the, uh, the whole system, and then I'm going to have a actual building built. Uh, this looks like more like a factory. You know, if you would pull up on it. So, uh, but uh, I hope you folks enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys all in the next one.